Hi. All right. Uh, Greg Russell, NBC Detroit. Ladies, great to see you both. Hi, lovely to see you. And I have to say, I caught the one of the last parts of the interview you just did, where Carlos Simone, you were saying how you were an attorney at one point. Well, my brother's an attorney, so I can't wait to tell him about watching this. Because I'm quite- <laughs> Oh, I was the attorney. Carla Simone should have been an attorney, but she's <laughs> actually an incredible actor. So we're all lucky that she didn't follow that path. <laughs> right, right. And I meant, I'm sorry, Sarah. God, got the yeah. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. But I'll start with you though, Sarah. Uh, you're the writer of the novel, as well as the uh, teleplay and all like that. How did this whole idea come about? It's just fascinating. Yeah, I mean, it. I, I like to say that I read to fill gaps and I have been an obsessive bookworm ever since I learned to read when I was very tiny. But I've come to realize that I also write to fill gaps. And this novel was definitely my way of filling a gap that I had left been left with by my lifelong reading. Um, you know, I was just really fed up with looking to historical literature for stories about women like me and finding almost nothing but stereotypes of suffering or, you know, a link to suffering in some way. And I, I wondered what we could do if we honored the backdrop, the experience of enslavement, and we were authentic and true to that history. But we imagined a complicated, complex woman who's driven by a desire for all the things that the world says she's not supposed to want. You know, she's intelligent, she's passionate, she's full of rage, but she's also full of sensuality. She's experiencing love and sex for the first time. And I'm really proud that we've been able to embody that in the show and to put a woman like that center stage. I, I like to say that we have put a Jamaican woman in Jane Austen territory with this show. That That's for sure. And I have to say, uh, <laughs> Carlos Simone, when you first got this, I can only imagine this is one of those things you get, you start reading and you keep thinking, you know what, I'm just going to read for a half hour, maybe, you know, 40 minutes. Next thing you know, it's three hours later and you're still in there because it's just such <laughs> a great story. Yeah, no, it's an incredible story. I remember when I, I got the first episode and uh, it was like, oh my God, it's a Jamaican woman in a period drama. There's voiceover. She's the lead and she's like this incredible force of nature and yeah, I was blown away and I was like, I, I really, really want to play her. And after I got the role, I, I completed the novel and I remember just sitting there like, damn, like, <laughs> damn, I get to do this. Like what she goes through is just incredible for an actor to play. And yeah, the, the story was just so gripping and it, it really follows it from Franny's perspective. So you're right there with her and you're on this journey, this crazy journey with her it dips into her past her dark history and the love affair and her being accused of double murder the woman she loves and yeah there's just so much going on that yeah the audience are in for a treat for sure oh that that's for sure and I was gonna say Sarah since that cat's out of the bag it's kind of weird because it's almost like to an extent a whodunit as well because now we're all pulled in going okay what is going on here what am I missing mm -hmm. so Great little way to put that into your story. Yeah, I mean, we don't mess around either. This is the first frame. The first frame of this series starts with Franny discovering that her mistress and her lover has been murdered and that she's being arrested for the crime. And, you know, if you start things off that way, you're really promising the audience that this is going to be a spellbinding story full of twists and turns and that we're focusing on the whodunit as well as the love story. Like I said, you know, I think the first mission of a storyteller is to entertain people and we really want audiences to enjoy this show we do not want people to think oh period drama it's going to be dry you know story that involves a uh, history of enslavement it's going to be too difficult I mean it is a serious uh, tv series and it, it tackles serious themes but we're aiming to do so in a way that offers viewers a really compelling gripping story that's just full of the magic of Carla Simone Spence in, in the title role yeah and Carla again ex excellent job I mean what was it like? I mean, because obviously you're young, you're part of this generation and this time when you dress up, you know, getting ready for the role. What's that like for you just to be thrown back into that time of history? Because I'm quite sure even though you know it's today, it's like this is kind of nuts, you know, back then. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. It's like those final layers of all the work that you've done of creating this human from 1800s. You know, I could 
do all the work but if I rock up in like my tracksuit bottoms it's just not gonna work <laughs> um, so yeah just having all the costume and then the sets and like it they did such an incredible job. Like I, I really did feel like I was transformed back in that time and it just really made my job easier. And yeah, just to be able to inhabit that world and that life of Franny truthfully. Um, yeah, it was great. All right. Well, like you said, whole very interesting series. Uh, I know Detroiters are going to look forward to getting out there and checking it out. Thank you both for your time. And also I've got several good friends who live here who are from Jamaica. So if they don't know about it, oh, all, yeah. they're going to know about it Tell now. Them to check it out. Yes. <laughs> tell them to check it out and tell them they will not be disappointed by Carla Simone's Jamaican accent because I, sure. can make it <laughs> I will definitely take care of that. Well, thank you both very, very much. Thank, thank you. you for having us. You got it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.